Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, get this video to at least 200 likes. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Just for a moment, imagine being a parent, a mom. You're sitting at home, cup of tea in hand, watching Coronation Street. Your son walks in, red on his hands and clothes. He says, I've been in a brawl and had to defend my friend. Now you being a parent ask your child what did you do and they say I bladed someone. As a parent you pick up the phone and then dial 999 and tell dispatch my son fatally bladed someone and is here now, I can't make him leave. That takes immense courage. Now that's what 19 year old Joshua Dalbano's mum did. And now he has been charged with a crime and was sentenced to a minimum of 21 years at Bristol Crown Court for taking 16-year-old Charlie Bates's life in Radstock. Now the court heard that 19-year-old Joshua Dalbano and 16-year-old Charlie Bates had met up in separate cars on Sunday, July 31st, 2022. After months and months of animosity growing between the two groups of friends, the two cars had arrived at the public car park off the street car park in the centre of Radstock, where this type of crime is rare. They were captured on CCTV at 6.40pm. 16-year-old Charlie Bates had approached the car Joshua was in and an argument ensued. Joshua Delbano then got out of the car, but not before picking up a blade. He approached 16-year-old Charlie and then swung wildly. During police interviews, Joshua said he did not mean to take a life. He claimed he was acting in defence of his friend, who he thought was, was about to be bladed. The only problem with 19-year-old Charlie Joshua's defence is that once Charlie collapsed on the floor due to suffering from blade wounds, he was then bladed again in the heart. The entire incident lasted for only five minutes from start to finish. Emergency services were called and then they rushed to the scene and attempted to save Charlie's life. However, just 30 minutes later, Charlie was pronounced dead. Now Joshua and friends fled the scene, he dumped the blade in sheer water lake, then burned some of his clothes, he then went home and told his mum what had happened. Six hours later, around 12.45am, Joshua's mum made the brave decision to say that her son had fatally bladed someone, she dialed 999 in front of him. She also said that she felt sick as to what happened. His mum then passed the phone to her son Joshua, who admitted to the tragic crime. It's losses all around, and again at Bristol Crown Court, Joshua was sentenced to at least 21 years in prison for what he had done. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.